a large number of patients in the world suffer from chronic kidney disease. These patients require replacement of renal function by dialysis. However, dialysis sometimes may result incompatible with the complete rehabilitation and a complete clinical well-being. There are clinical problems related to the fact that the treatment may be too aggressive or not well tolerated and there are technological problems related to the fact that patients have to join hospital settings in order to be dialyzed. For this reason, we need to do more research to find out uh, clinical tolerable treatments in terms of continuous, soft, gentle removal of fluid and solutes from the patient. And also we need to research new technological solutions towards improvements in treatments and technologies that can help patients to be dehospitalized and completely rehabilitated. For this reason, we need to evolve our research into a new era towards the wearable artificial kidney. If we look at computers, a trend has been over the years towards miniaturization. The same has occurred to hemodialysis, but if you look at dialysis machines, you may immediately see that the dimension of dialysis machines still are large and occupied a lot of space in hemodialysis centers. So for this reason, the progress in hemodialysis, which has been progressive and incremental, requires now a quantum leap towards the next phase, which is basically the idea of generating a miniaturized artificial kidney. Miniaturization can be helped by new technologies, including microfluidics and nanotechnology. The application of nanomedicine to dialysis may represent the potential step towards the future. If we look at the possible design concept of a wearable device, this is the idea which carries a lot of possibilities for the patients in terms of rehabilitation and clinical well-being. The idea is not new. In the past, publications related to wearable devices have been made, however, simply there were no possible solutions to perform this task. Today, new devices have been designed and as you can see here, a device for continuous ambulatory ultrafiltration had been proposed and tested for the first time in Vicenza in 2006, showing the possibility of generating a wearable ultrafiltration treatment. This is the continuous ultrafiltration applied to a patient that not only can perform uh, regular and potential activities, but he can only walk around and uh, uh, have a walk while he can uh, be treated with dialysis. Here you see another patient wearing the wearable ultrafiltration device and here you can see mother and daughter being treated with the current generation of technology and the future generation of technology. This led to publication on the continuous ambulatory ultrafiltration and led to the step further to the next generation of devices for continuous hemodialysis. The system includes a regeneration for dialysis fluid, which has been applied to a series of patients in London after the Vicenza experience, showing the extreme satisfaction of patient and being published in the important journal Lancet, displaying results that show feasibility of the concept. Today, other technological solutions have been proposed, such as the wearable artificial kidney utilizing peritoneal dialysis in Vicenza. This device basically is constructed in a way that the regeneration system for peritoneal dialysis fluid operates 24 hours a day. It uses a double lumen catheter that allows continuous flow PD and it has a unit for regeneration that contains different type of sorbents for the regeneration and purification of the dialysis fluid utilized all over the day. 
The system can be operated wireless via Bluetooth utilizing a handheld computer that controls the operations. In conclusion, we may say that the wearable kidney exists. It requires improvement. It requires new steps, but when a new paradigm is started, then technologies tend to follow. And just remembering what happened to computers, we hope that the same trends toward miniaturization will occur for dialysis devices. For this reason, you're all invited to attend to the World Conference on Portable, Wearable and Miniaturized Device for Dialysis that will be held in Vicenza from September 30th to October the 2nd, 2010. In this important conference, we hope to plant the seeds for the future steps of dialysis and for a truly wearable artificial kidney device.